Happy new weekly vlog! It's Tuesday morning. I'm about to head out to go get groceries um, and then I have a call at noon and then I have to shoot a campaign um, and then edit a bunch of videos and reels. But I wanted to quickly show you what I was wearing this morning. I chose a very pastel -y outfit. Again, I'm feeling spring apparently. This is my indigo toque from the winter. And, and then this is an H&M jacket that they don't have anymore, but I will try to find something similar. This is an old Burton uh, fleece as well. I just thought that the pastel -y colors were very spring and Easter-like. And then I'm wearing an Everlane Henley underneath that's like light blue. And then these are my airy leggings in the purpley color. I will try to find you similar ones. Um, I think they're sold out now, but I'm sure they have purple leggings somewhere. Wednesday. It is about 10 a.m. right now and I'm waiting for my croissants to defrost slash get crunchy. So I get like a bunch from this patisserie place in Guelph, not Guelph, Richmond Hill because there are no good croissants in Guelph. If you guys like have some to recommend, let me know. But I've kind of looked everywhere and haven't found anything good. So I get them from Richmond Hill and freeze them and then defrost them in the toaster oven whenever I want them. And yeah, anyways, it's 10. I've been up since like 8.30. Um, I usually put my alarm for 8.30 unless like I wake up at five and can't fall asleep again. I've been trying to be kinder to myself because like when I wake up late, I just feel so guilty. But if I wake up like before my body feels ready, then I feel really sick and I get really bad headaches. And I just have to remember I'm pregnant and I'm only gonna be pregnant for like three more months and my body's just gonna get more tired and tired because the baby's growing bigger and bigger and I just need to realize that and like that's something that I feel like I haven't really like totally accepted like obviously I know that I'm pregnant but I'm still like working and acting as if everything is normal <laughs> before I was pregnant and now that I'm entering my third trimester in a couple days like it's I need to remember that so that I can like really treat my body better you know so that's my goal is to just listen to my body wake up when it's ready and not like when i feel like i should be up and at it and going to start work what else do i have planned today oh i want to film a haul it's a quick one about all like the pieces i got in the mail yesterday uh, i got a bunch of cute spring pieces dresses uh, that i want to just do it on a quick try on haul so you guys have all the links in one place and can see how it looks like on. I shared a little bit on stories yesterday and everyone's asking for links so I feel like the try on haul will just be more effective. And yeah, and then obviously answer a bunch of emails and I have a bunch of like videos and reels that I filmed that I haven't edited so I should do that too. That's about it. I'm really thirsty so I'm gonna <laughs> drink some water and then um, make some decaf coffee on my Nespresso machine which I'm obsessed with. Now that we have the virtual one which is like the bigger pause and I can make like bigger cups of coffee versus the little guy which is like still great like you can only make like little ones. Um, I just feel like it's a lot easier for me. So yeah, okay. All right, it is 3.30, 3.11, so I've been filming for three hours. I ended up doing two videos, so one for Zara, one for H&M, and then I tried to do a couple reels in between, so that took a lot longer. I'm exhausted. I am going to go sit down because I've been standing clearly for three hours. I am going to go to the PO box to pick up some packages that arrived today, and then uh, maybe get a little snacky snack because I haven't eaten lunch. But yeah, I'm glad that I got all that done with because that means that tomorrow I can sit and edit and 
just like do stuff from the computer. Um, it's very hard for me these days to like have enough energy to like kind of get myself to film two videos in a row. So I'm really proud of myself. I am actually wearing one of the pieces that I just talked about in my H&M haul. This is like this like yellow oversized sweater. And then I put on the lavender like airy leggings. I feel like a little Easter egg, which apparently is my vibe lately. <laughs> my goodness, my hair is a mess. Um, I am at Life Labs. It's a new one because the one that I normally go to is like a two hour wait. I am about to do my glucose testing, which you normally do, I think between like 26 and 28 weeks, 27 weeks now. So I have to drink this like sugary drink in five minutes and then wait an hour and then come back for a blood test. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, I took out my hair because I was just looking insane. Um, I am in the car now. I have to wait an hour. I can't drive. I can't walk, do anything for an hour just in case I have like any of those like adverse side effects that were on the bottle. I can like put them here. I think it's like nausea, diarrhea, like fainting or something like that so i have to be careful because in case i do actually have gestational diabetes like the side effects can be pretty um bad i guess so i'm just hanging out i'm gonna answer some emails um i did download some episodes of revenge on disney plus on my ipad so i might put that on while i'm working in my car revenge i've watched before but i do like it it's just like a good show and everyone like dresses nicely so i like that i have like that gross drink taste in my mouth not allowed to drink or eat anything for this hour so it's just gonna hang out in my mouth for an hour it's super windy today so i don't know if you guys can hear the wind gustling have the like moonroof sunroof just like a little bit open right now um and that's about it nothing too cool going on some sushi as a little reward and also in case i do have gestational diabetes probably cannot eat this much rice may or may not be my last sushi meal in a while all right so this is the color we ended up choosing it's like this really light gray green i actually am quite in love with it i don't know how to show you if it looks white on camera maybe against here so against the trim from the door like this is white so it's like this really really light green super calming i think it's so pretty and yeah so this whole area is done now it used to be like wooden boards and travis put drywall all over it and on the top too and then some pot lights and then our pantry is going to go here with some barred wood that he has to still cut but essentially like this whole area is gonna have little cupboards not cupboards um shelves so that we can put our pantry stuff back on happy friday it is 7 45 i am parked um in my parking spot in front of uh mcdonald's because i ordered little donuts i'm doing a really fun campaign with mcdonald's for march where we're promoting their little donuts if you guys haven't had them before they are delicious they have a new flavor called i think it's called cinnamon and cream um which i'll be posting soon and i got my breakfast sandwich obviously and some apple juice and i think i see my donuts coming so cute So I am back from a full day of shooting. I don't really have any behind the scenes because I was like, go, go, go. So I'm quite exhausted and I'm wearing the same outfit as I was, I think three days ago, but I just like the colors. So I wanted to shoot it. Again, this is an H&M sweater that I feel like still exists. So I'll definitely link it. These are my airy lavender leggings that I don't think exist anymore, but I think they still have lavender leggings, but this is what I wanted to show you. So I returned the Valentino boots and I actually found one pair 
of these Kate Derby riding boots from Essence. They're actually, I think like $500 cheaper than the ones that are on their actual Kate site. They're, you, they're 37, which usually is a bit small for me for boots, but I actually feel quite comfortable in them. They're a little bit pointed, so I really like how sleek they look. They look a little bit more elegant and fit my legs a little bit better than the Valentino ones, so I'm super happy with them. And I feel really happy that I was able to score them for cheaper than the price that was actually on the Kate site. And this is like without duties and taxes that would have been added because they would have shipped from the States. So happy. All right, these ones are the other ones. These ones look more like actual riding boot shape. And I really like them because they're so, so fitted along the calf. I don't have big calves. So I would say if you have like average to bigger calves, these might be really tight for you. They do have a zipper on the side though, on the back, I mean. These ones are Essence exclusive a colorway. So I was looking for black, but since I'm so in love with the Kate ones, I have my black boots covered. These ones, I'm very, very tempted to keep these two because they are so cool. They're a little bit taller than the Kates, a little bit more narrow, but they do have a rounded toe. So it definitely looks sportier, almost looks like kind of like a rain boot, but I really like them. I think they just like add a cool factor to the outfit versus the Kate ones are really classic and I can imagine like having them honestly for the rest of my life. And then these ones too, but just in a totally different way. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm obsessed. But this is my end of boot shopping for like five years. Yeah, this might be a better view of the boots. I'm gonna email them about this scratch though because this looks not part of the pattern. So I've been meaning to show you that my rubber plant finally has a new baby leaf. I was super worried about it because all the leaves on the bottom were falling off and kind of getting like a weird burnt color to it and like yellow spots, but I think it's starting to get better because of this guy. And I think this guy is going to peak soon too. And then my Monstera is obviously doing okay. I have to do like the moss um, poles that I got and I guess dust it. Oh my. Alrighty, it's Saturday and I'm just gonna quickly end the vlog because I really don't have much energy today. I spent most of the morning cleaning, so I'm like kind of pooped out and I don't really have too many more exciting things to share with you this week. Next week I have ultrasound, doctor's appointment and all that jazz. My belly's kind of quite large today. My belly button's right there. It's funny because I don't have an Audi, but it's popped now. Um, I just thought I'd show you because it's like kind of protruding today. So I thought it's funny. Today I am officially in my third trimester, so 28 weeks, which is kind of crazy. Oh, next week at the doctor's appointment, I will find out the results of the gestational diabetes test. So I'll let you guys know then. Um, but for now I have like the blood results that say that looks normal, but I have to like confirm with the doctor obviously. So fingers crossed and I'll see you all next week.